Well, everybody, we're back at it again. We're on Lake Fork fishing for the Cats Elite Series. Um, I was able to get a day and a half to a day and a quarter worth of pre-fishing in the week prior. Um, and I focused on areas that I've fished in the past uh, during this time of season. And I really had a good practice. I uh, caught multiple fish in the slot for Lake Fork, which is 16 to 24 inches. So I, I felt pretty good. Well, during the week leading up to the tournament, we had our first pretty much major cold front come through. And water temperatures went from mid to high 80s to high 70s just to that very low 80 mark. So things changed. And I started off my morning at my very first spot. And I was catching fish. But I wasn't catching anything of size. I mean, most of them were right around that 10 to 12 inch range. I managed to get one in the boat that was actually big enough to measure. But after, uh, from starting out there from 7 to 10 o'clock with only that one, I talked myself into going to my second spot, which ended up being a big mistake. Uh, I broke the cardinal rule. You never leave fish to go find more fish. But when I got out to my second spot, my second spot was out deep, and the water temperature change just pushed them away from the hump. Uh, they were nowhere to be found. So after working that for a while, I started going into the cove that was directly across from that uh, deep water hump and just never found anything in there either. So from 10 to 2 p.m., I, uh, I didn't get a single bite. Worked back to the boat ramp that I, was, uh, I launched out of and started fishing the reeds. It's right up against the ramp. I had multiple hits. Caught a couple in the boat, but all I could get in the boat was the small ones, and I lost a couple of really good-sized fish. Um, definitely enough yeah. to get me my limit for the day. And, you know, that's just fishing. Some days it just works out that way. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please hit that like button. Also, subscribe. Uh, later on, there will actually be the video for the uh, Ladybird tournament. So uh, hold on for that. Well, I, got, I hope you guys enjoy it. Have a good one.
All right, everybody. We're going to get it going. We're going to start off fifth place. Is going to take home the $50 Cat Supernova package. I don't have his inches. 65, Marcus Villanueva. Fifth place. Uh, fourth place. 65 and a quarter. Uh, Kissler Ron, Magnesium 2. Connor Isel. All right, getting into the money. Getting into the money. In third place, 71.5 inches, Daniel Peters. Good damn. Let's go patch up some ceilings at his house. $750. All righty, in second place, 88.75 inches, Joseph Sanderson, $1,500. Yeah, I don't want to hear, I can't afford to. Yeah, that's what I'm saying now. You take us out to lunch. All right. <laughs> 93 inches, first place, $3,000, Guillermo Gonzalez. Guillermo! All right. I was really surprised when I saw this because um, we, we were fishing the same waters and he was having a tough day, but I guess it ended up pretty awesome. Big bass today. 24.5 inches of power. Ken Davis, he's in the lead now for Big Bass. He caught a 24 and a 24.5. Those were his only two fish today. All right. The Cats Advantage. Well, here we go. Last event of the Cats Elite Series on Lady Bird Lake in Austin, Texas. Well, I have no idea what I was doing on this lake, never been here. And, you know, through my research, there's, I found out there's really three locations I could launch from. And with my big cargo trailer, there's really only one place I could put in it, and that was at the uh, high school. So from the high school, I made the two mile trip all the way up to the dam, and from there, I figured I'd start there and work my way back down. Well, got up there and there was already a lot of boat traffic at the dam, so I figured, okay, I'm going to start heading my way back in, thinking I'd run into less boat traffic. But <laughs> I was completely wrong. The amount of people that come out there for paddle boarding, kayaking, the rowers is absolutely nuts. If you've been on this lake, you know what I'm talking about. But it was definitely a shock for me. But on the way back, I basically flipped and pitched any laydowns or cypress trees that was overhanging the water the whole way back and that's where I got most of my bites at. Uh, I was able to get two really good ones in the boat but I lost quite a few too. But I hope you guys enjoy it. Y'all have a good one.
<sighs> Son of a bitch. Damn it. Hook came off in the net. 